Speaking of masks, how do you know if you need to keep wearing one? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, here to answer that. Good afternoon, doctor. As you know, most of Michigan currently falls into that low or medium risk category. So can you explain how these categories affect facial coverings under the CDC's latest guidance? Absolutely, Brian. It's, uh, it's you know, a lot of people are thinking about this. The latest CDC guidance is, is taking into account two new metrics, and that's hospital admissions and how many beds are taken up by COVID patients. So masking is not just based on case counts anymore. Also, an online COVID-19 community level tool was created, and it's broken down into three categories. Green is considered low risk. That's good. Yellow is medium risk, and orange is high risk. Not good at all. The CDC says that people may choose to mask at any time, but when the levels are low or medium, people can opt to wear masks. If the levels are high, then everyone should wear masks. And if a person is at high risk for severe illness, they should talk to their healthcare provider, their doctor, about when to mask up. And what about kids? Should they still mask up even if they no longer have to? As my kids do, right? They choose to, to do it when they go to school, but every family needs to consider their risk factors and ask questions like, hey, does the family spend time with elderly grandparents? Like, like my kids, you know, they spend time with my mom. Is anyone immunocompromised or have a chronic illness or medical condition? If the answer is yes, then I highly recommend, it, uh, recommend masking, especially in public places. It doesn't matter that kids are less likely to, de to develop severe illness. If they can get infected, then they can spread the virus to vulnerable family members. So that's how I think I would approach it. And, and uh, as this changes, and this is in flux, right, we'll get that information to you. But it's a good rule of thumb uh, what the CDC is doing and, and, and looking at your risk factors. All right, Dr. Nanny, good information for us. Thank you so much, as always. Have a good weekend. You as well. And don't forget to watch an all-new episode of the Dr. Nandy Show this weekend. This week, Dr. Nandy is sharing simple workouts for every age. That's this Sunday at noon, right here on 7.